Hello, my name is John Dobson. I'm the project manager for Flowcode. In the previous video, we looked at touch and graphical display technology, and we looked a little bit at the types of module that you can purchase to put in your electronic system. In this video, we're going to look at how you can program graphical displays and how you can use the simulation capabilities of Flowcode to shorten the design cycle. So in this project, we're going to show you how to make a test card, which includes various colored shapes, including a bitmap, some different fonts of texts, and it also draws a graph. Now this test card is not a project in itself, but you can use the techniques here in your projects. And a test card like this also allows us just to set a benchmark for display performance. So the two displays I've got are, this is a resistive touchscreen, um, it's connected via an SPI bus to an ESP room um, and if I press reset you can see how it redraws. It takes around five seconds to redraw. Um, so that's a serial connected um, display. This one here is a parallel connected display. It's a capacitive touchscreen from Roland Technologies and because it's parallel it's much faster at redrawing. Now the programming for the two is identical, you just have to set up the connections differently. So let's have a look at the software and see how that's constructed. So let's take a look at the software. This is the program for the test card and this is the panel. Uh, on here are all the components that make up the display. So we have the ILI9488 touchscreen itself. Highlighting that shows you all of the properties. So you can see the part number, the XY dimension, the orientation, um, and that kind of thing. You can also see the connections. So this is the connection to the microcontroller. In this case, it's an ESP device and you can see that by saying select target device. It's an ESP32 room 32. Those are all the connections. Um, and here you can see the SPI bus and how it's connected to each of the, um, the pins. Remember, this is a SPI serial device. Um, we have a PWM controller, which is um, controlling the brightness of the LCD panel inside the touchscreen itself. We've also got here a, a, a bitmap drawer. And basically what this component does is on compilation, it will compile this file, um, which is in the same directory as the flow code program. And it's a small uh, go with a ragdoll BMP. And that will be embedded into the ESP32 with the um, microcontroller program. We've also got a small graph widget and this allows you to set up the XY coordinates of a graph onto the panel, control its colors um, and how it's displayed. We won't go into the details now. Now on the panel as well, I've put a, a couple of items. Um, the most important thing is probably this. It's really important that when you're developing graphical displays that you do some kind of plan. Um, if you don't, you'll spend a lot longer creating your system. So here is a plan of roughly what I want to do. It shows the X by Y pixels and the different parts of the touchscreen that I want to create. And this has been created in Coral Draw. We export it to a bitmap. And what we then do is we use some of the a component in flow code. In this case, it's a creation component called a image. And we drag that onto the panel, associate the bitmap file with it. And it allows us to see um, our plan, if you like, of the system. The other thing I like to do is put all the connections. So we've got the touchscreen um, and the ESP room, the different um, connections there, and it just shows or reminds me how I've connected the, the system. So that's our simulation panel. Um, this is our main program. Um, and flow code um, consists of a number of different routines that you can see here. We call them macros. And this program is very straightforward. It just call a number of macros in sequence. 
Um, we'll start with initialize. The initialize macro just sets up the XY parameters, uh, turns the backlight on and initializes the individual components in, uh, in the system. Um, and if I then just disable those, um, this next item then is draw grid. So if you look at the draw grid item, this shows you how flow code allows you to construct programs really quickly. Um, if you click on any of the items, in this case, the touchscreen, and you use the Project Explorer, you can see all the routines there that are available for the touchscreen. And they're fairly self-explanatory. We can control the backlight, draw an arc, circle, ellipses, rectangle. We can print numbers or print text, set foreground and background colors, and so on. So what uh, we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to draw a gray rectangle on the screen and some uh, white lines on top of it. So I'm setting some parameters here. I'm setting a foreground color, uh, which is gray. I'm drawing a rectangle um, and I give the XY coordinates. Uh, then I'm going to set the foreground color to white. 255, 255, 255 is the RGB for white. I'm going to draw a load of horizontal lines until uh, my count, so they're 50 pixels apart until my count goes over max X. Then I'm going to do the same for the um, vertical lines. And the great thing about flow code is you can easily um, enable and dis disable um, components. So if I just simulate that for you now, um, you can see how the program works. And um, in this case, we're just going to draw the background grid. So you can see it's drawn a background grid and it's stopped and it's come to the end of the program. Um, looking at another part of the code, we can look at how we print the bits of text. Um, again, it's quite simple. We set up some XY parameters, set foreground and background colors, draw a rectangle, and then we're able to print text in different fonts. Now, the, now you've got a choice of fonts here. Um, if you look at the display properties, um, you can see that you're able to embed up to four fonts and you can choose the font type here. Um, there's a big choice of fonts or you can create custom fonts if you want to. And again, what happens is in compilation, the fonts are um, compiled to the ESP device along with the rest of your program. There's masses of room in this ESP device. Um, so you can get up to four fonts there and you can set the size of the fonts as well. So looking back at the simulation, let's just go through that again. Um, to show you how that part of uh, the program works. So um, here are the background uh, grid and there are the fonts and I've just chosen four fonts at random. So this shows you how you can easily enable and disable different parts of the program. Um, and whilst you're simulating and creating your display, this is a really great way of quickly putting a a program together. So the next part of the program, we're going to draw some black and white checkers at the top. We're going to draw some colored bars on the left and right. Um, we're going to draw some gray scales and some finer bars, um, the text you've seen. And we're also going to draw a graph. And the, the graph component dictates the size. And in the graph routine, what I've done is I've just set up the basics and I'm just drawing a sine wave and I'm carrying that on forever. Um, so if we simulate the whole program now, you can see how the whole thing comes together. The bitmap draws a little slower um, than it is in real life, but uh, it gets there. So you can see this is the simulation and the simulation is really quite faithful to the original. And you can see my little um, little graph there. So hopefully that gives you a, a very quick whistle stop tour on how flow code is used to simulate and program graphical displays. If you want to try this for yourself, then you can go to the flowcode.co.uk website you can download a free copy of Flowcode. And if you go to our wiki, 
and you look under examples, then you can find the program that uh, we've just been using. So there's an entry there on, on, on graphics.